Hello. Today we'll talk about uh, dental sterilization and particularly how you can ensure that uh, you have obtained the proper instrument sterilization in uh, autoclave uh, pouches. So there are several ways uh, you can check your autoclave is working properly and your instruments are getting sterilized and uh, the main ones uh, are uh, chemical indicator strips such as these ones there are several types of uh, indicator strips from class 1 to class 6 uh, but today we'll talk about uh, the mandatory ones which are uh, at the moment the class 5 indicator strips um, as you know, most uh, sterilization pouches include uh, some sort of chemical indicator that changes color when certain uh, conditions have been met. Most, uh, most pouches have a class 1 chemical uh, indicator strip, which uh, is the least reliable, reliable one. And... Um, basically it's the equivalent of sticking uh, some autoclave uh, strip on uh, a regular pouch without without chemical indicators it just uh, shows the bag with the instruments inside it has been pro processed it doesn't ensure that proper sterilization has been achieved inside the bag because the the indicator the class one indicator uh, strip uh, only changes color if uh, if it's exposed to temperature it's not uh, a certain temperature uh, sensitive or a certain pressure or, or uh, a certain amount of time uh, needs to to pass with the bag inside the autoclave for the for the strip to change color it just reacts to basic heat and that's it as you can imagine this is not enough to ensure a proper uh, sterilization has been achieved um, so basically the class 1 indicator strip is just a good way of telling if you have processed a pouch or not that's it to ensure sterilization inside the pouch has occurred we need a class 5 uh, integra integrator strip uh, this comes in the form this come in the, in the form of separate paper strips such as these ones I'm not sure if uh, I can focus. We can have a better look at it. Or this one. Okay. Some higher quality pouches also integrate this class 5 indicator in the the pouch itself as you can see these ones uh, only have a class 1 indicator strip both for uh, steam sterilization and ethylene oxi oxide uh, sterilization these are the ones for this uh, particular type of pouch this will change color uh, when exposed to temperature certain bags uh, have uh, have them just below the, the plastic sheet but uh, the ones that I'm talking about the, the higher quality ones um, that integrate the class 5 uh, indicator have the indicator somewhere around here actually inside inside the bag there are also some uh, some variants that have um, the class 5 indicator as a strip 
uh, when you peel the the adhesive adhesive strip to seal the pouch the bag has the class 5 indicator here this is the class 5 indicator you peel it off you write the necessary information on it and you insert it in the bag and you uh, can uh, proceed with the sterilization uh, process um, so the class 5 uh, strips separate strips are the ones we're going to talk about today so these are um, um, there are several types for example this one has a circular pattern uh, which uh, turns brown from uh, blue in a in a circular fashion starting from the middle towards the end or this one this one um, as you can see all three uh, squares need to change color in order uh, for steril optimal sterilization to be um, to be achieved it's also acceptable if two of them uh, change color from uh, dark red to brown only if only one or none change color proper sterilization has not been achieved other types of uh, of uh, strips uh, include a kind of a progression bar uh, design where actually there's a there's a bar along the the, the paper strip that uh, changes color progressively towards the end uh, the longer uh, the strip is exposed to some certain conditions of temperature pressure and uh, and time the the sterilization guidelines vary depending on where you are in the world but the general consensus is the, that the class 5 uh, integrator strip must be uh, a, a type of class 5 integrator strip must be found inside the bag for uh, for it to be for the contents of the bag to of the pouch to be considered uh, sterilized this is the only way you can you can check if the the contents of the the inside of the pouch have been exposed to certain conditions of temperature and pressure for a certain amount of time because time is also important uh, in this equation because uh, there's a certain amount of minutes each instrument must be exposed to that temperature or uh, pressure for it to to be considered sterilized for all the bacteria and viruses and fungi fungi or spores to be to be destroys destroyed so basically all you need to do is put your instruments inside the pouch put an indicator strip inside the pouch Peel off the adhesive, adhesive strip and seal the pouch. Some uh, countries require you to uh, have the, the batch number, the sterilization batch number written on the, on the actual strip and also the date. Some don't, depending on your country's legislation some uh, some gu guidelines in some countries require you to perform a, a bowie and dick or helix or, or helix text test before each sterilization and after that you place uh, a sterilization strip a class 5 integrated 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 sterilization strip 
in each each bag but before the actual sterilization process must begin you must complete uh, a Bowie and Dick or a helix, or a helix uh, test to ensure proper steam sterilization is achieved if this is an overkill or not it's debatable but some some legislations require uh, this to to happen so the strip when it's exposed to the, the proper conditions will turn from uh, this blue towards brown in the case of this strip as you can see here and in the case of uh, this all the the squares will, will uh, change color from uh, this reddish color to to brown so let me show you what a pouch looks like i have some endodontic files here the pouch has a class one integrator strip it changes color let me see have I have one that changed color yes so it will change color from this blue to this brown and also the the strip inside the class 5 integrator strip will uh, will change the color from this uh, blue towards this brown if partial sterilization has been achieved there will be a circular pattern starting from the center of the uh, circle towards the end where the the center will be brown but the edges will will remain blue that uh, means that uh, the sterilization uh, process has uh, not be, been performed optimally and um, you should reprocess the instruments the correct uh, result will be this if you don't get a, a perfect circle a perfect brown circle that means that the inside of the, uh, the pouch has not been exposed to the conditions needed uh, in order to sterilization to be in order for sterilization to be achieved so that's about it let me know if you have questions in the in the comments section below we'll uh, get back with uh, more about the sterilization process in uh, in later videos we'll talk about maybe the mandatory um, tests you need to perform on your autoclave in order to ensure proper uh, it's functioning properly and maybe on, on sterilization pouches or substances used for the cleaning and disinfecting of the instruments before sterilization let me know if you have any special requests and we'll talk about that if you like the video please uh, hit like and subscribe thank you